on different topics that can be brought out for your examination. The correct sequence of movement of urea during urine formation is uh, we have different options and uh, as you can see on the screen we have what we have a diagram of nephron uh the, the urinary, urinary what system where you can see that what we have glomerulus so it is the sequence is actually from the glomerulus to what the bone man capsule that you can see there and to the what to the convoluted tubuli that you can see there that's then going to the loop of what the loop of uh Elin. that will be Elin's loop then we have what it to the what collecting tubuli let me just tell you that what i'm talking about this urine formation it involves three processes number one it is what the filtration two the absorption and uh, three we have secretion just note that our urine contains what 95 percent of water a larger percent very very large percent of water then we have uh five percent or so for what waste products the increasing order of the particle size in the following soil type types is we check the uh, options you see that what we have silt we have clay we have sand and we have gravel just for you to understand it talking about the increasing order of those particles it starts from what from clay clay particles are very very what they are small particles why i'm talking about seed seed has bigger particles than clay then sand has what bigger particles than silt and the, the last one gravel just like you know big big what particles so in increasing order the answer should be what from clay to silt from silt to sand and from sand to gravel that's option d the soil with the highest water retaining capacity is option a we have clearly soil we have stony soils we have uh, sandy soil we have what loamy soil just like i was saying about clay soil the other time uh, when i talk about clay clay is what has small particles so because of that uh, and these small particles are what are tightly packed so the what water would not be able to what to percolate and uh, because water will not be able to percolate it would it would be able to retain the highest amount of water that it should retain and that makes it the what the highest water retaining uh, the soil with the highest water retaining capacity so the answer is what clearly soil let's move to the genetic part as um, walls axe loops and compounds are what are types of variation in uh, we have option e ear color eye color rather fingerprint ear color blood group actually the answer is b that's fingerprint those are the what types of variation in the fingerprint and i also expect you to understand that what uh, there is no two person with the same fingerprint just like you are there you have uh, your uh, your fingerprint is different even if you have a twin brother or twin sister your fingerprint would be a different one so that's why most of the time they use fingerprints as just like a signature if you are in, if you go to a bank now you you, you have to collect your fingerprints different stages like that to collect your fingerprints so that it was to be as a form of authenticating that you are actually the person a couple has 10 children all female which of the following best explains the situation I'm talking about the determination of sex in male we have x and y chromosome uh, in male rather in female we have x and x now the difference between the male and the female is because of the y chromosome that you can actually see in the male so if you want to get a male child 
there must actually be a Y chromosome. So now, if X, uh, if the uh, if the female should bring XX, and the male should bring XY, like as XY, then if you have to take one out of her X, drop during what during uh during uh, sex and the likes, there there will be what there will be one during uh there will be a release of one is it that one one out of the x so you know that definitely that will be x the second one also x and y that is a male there will be a release of one it could be x it could be y so that means the male will be the one to determine the sex why because if he releases x the what the child will be a female if it if he releases y the child would be what would be a male do you understand so in this question let's move to the options to understand this uh question the sex determination was by the man's x chromosome uh yes why do i say yes because what because the man released uh, he released x chromosome instead of y if he released y now he will be they will all be a male what children but you see that what all female that means he released x out, uh, out of his x and y chromosomes so just to note that so other options are just they are just there like that they are not the answer not because of spam count not because of the uh woman uh, in inab inability to what produce male children like people think if, if you see some some um, male or people outside there they'll be like ah, these people no, no no i think i'll have to get another wife and all that no not even know that it is your inability so the sex determination was by no, it's not by the Y chromosome. An example of cochleotamic organism is a uh, we have lizard, we have cockroach, rabbit, and bird. Actually, we are talking about cochleotamic organism. I'm talking about the organism that is a cold-blooded animal, like a cold-blooded animal. I'm talking about cochleotamic organism. And the other side, we have what warm-blooded animals as well. So just note that we are talking about warm-blooded animals. You can take the example of mama, and they were talking about uh, cold-blooded animals. That's cochleotamic organisms. You can what take an example of, uh, like examples of reptiles. We have fish and the likes. You understand? So in this very question, let's quickly look at it. We are talking about lizard. Lizard is what is a reptile, so you should know that what lizard is the answer. But if you go through the rest, you see that cockroach, insects, sea rabbit, that's a mama, bird also. So just 